Hi guys! Man, have I got something amazing to show you today. You know, I've been playing a guitar off and on for about 20 years, but I never discovered what I discovered the other night. Yeah, I was looking at the guitar, and I was thinking there's got to be some relationship between the strings. So the names of the strings from the sixth string going up are E, A, D, G, B, E. The way I learned that was elephants and donkeys grow big ears. I know it's kind of silly, but it helped me remember the names of the strings. And I was thinking the other night, why are these strings called E, A, D, G, B, and E? And I started looking at the guitar strings, and I discovered that there's a secret formula for you to de determine the names of the notes on each fret. And I'm going to share that secret with you today. So you're going to learn a guitar secret. Now a lot of people pay good money to learn this. But I'm giving it to you for free. Of course, if you want to give me donations, I would gladly accept them. And you can get them from me by sending me a message. And I'll give you my email and my mailing address. And then you can send me the money if you feel so inclined. But I'm going to give it to you for free because I'm a nice guy. And I want to help you with your guitar. And uh, this will help you with your improvising, it will help you with your soloing, it will help you with naming chords. Okay, so here's a secret. E, A. Okay? From E to A is four notes. In the key of E major we have E, F sharp, G sharp, a. So this is E, A. So between the first, I'm sorry, the sixth string and the fifth string, there's an interval of a fourth. Okay? E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Now I know this might be a little bit too difficult for the beginners, so I'm going to try to make it as easy as I possibly can. Okay, so between sixth string and the fifth string, there's a fourth interval. The same goes with the fifth string and the fourth string. Okay, because A to D is a fourth. In the key of A major, D is the fourth note. A, B, C sharp, D. So again, we have a fourth. The interval is a fourth. Okay, and then going from the fourth string to the third string, D to G. D, G. Again, we have an interval of a fourth, okay? In the key of D major, the fourth note is G. D, E, F sharp, G. So again, we have our fourth interval. Okay, now the only difference is when we get to the B string. From the G string to the B string, it's a third instead of a fourth. So the third note in the key of G major is B. G, A, B. And that's what we have here. G, B. Okay, so that's a third. And then going from the second string, second string to the first string, again we have an interval of a fourth. So we have B, C sharp, D sharp, E. That's the fourth. So B, E. Okay, so remember the interval from sixth to fifth string is a fourth. From 5th to 4th string is a 4th. From 4th to 3rd string is a 4th. 
from third to second string is a third because of the way the guitar is laid out it has to be a third and not a fourth and then from the second to the first string is a fourth the interval is a fourth okay so now we know why the strings are E A D 